All right, guys, this is a video for any of you mini bike riders out there. Um, what we're gonna do today is, uh, I already made a video on this once, but it was super quick and it was terrible, but we're gonna take off these uh, seven eighths bars that come with the mini bike. We're gonna put some new bar mounts on that could support a bigger bar. Um, that way they are, the, the new bars will be a little bit longer and then they'll also be stronger. So if you do spill on your bike, it doesn't bend them right away because these things aren't made to last, honestly. So um, let's do that. I'll show you the parts and pieces that I used for that. And uh, yeah, let's get rolling. All right, guys, so some of the parts that I, I want to use, well, so for the first thing, the bars, right? So Mika Metals, um, not sponsored by Mika, but um, these bars are, are really good and durable. You can see how over here they taper down uh, to that 7 eight, so you'll still be able to use the same throttle, grips, everything like that. But what they do is they get bigger here to provide more support. We're going with no crossbar because I think it's a pretty sweet look, and we're going to go with black, so yeah. And I like using T-handle wrenches uh, for my projects. I got a couple different sets of them. I think that they're really convenient, really nice to use. Um, I use them for my dirt bike too. And then I need this screwdriver number one, and then uh, a 4.5 and a 5.5 millimeter um, hex, hex bit or Allen. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you gotta pull the old bars off. So um, it's just these four bolts here. And then obviously your um, kill switch, your throttle, both take a, a number one Phillips. And then over here with your brake, that's going to be, I believe an eight millimeter um, T-handle and then 10 millimeter T-handle. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, let's get this junky bars off here. Disgusting chunky bars. They're not even on straight. Heck. Sorry, guys, I forgot it's tradition. When you take old parts off, you're supposed to throw them. So just pretend that I just got that undone. Like, get out of here. Go on and get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, guys, so these ones, these are the Titan racing ones. Uh, I've had these on here for a little bit. Um, Titan performance parts. So what they are, the hole's bigger, so it's an inch and an eighth, so it's an adapter. Sometimes this is a threaded all the way through. There's sometimes a post there, but this is where that goes, right? So you're gonna leave this, this is gonna stay. You're gonna use these threads for that adapter, but normally your seven eighths bar will sit in this groove. Now you're gonna raise it up just a little bit and there's gonna be an eighth, uh, inch and an eighth hole or, or groove there so that you can put thicker bars there, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, mount those up. Okay, so these do, they come out with all the hardware, but you're gonna pull this part here. You're gonna take the top part off with the brand name. Here, grab this bottom part. It has two uh, bolts in there. Bring it on over. And what you wanna try to do is have the screws here on the outside. That one's gone forever. And then you go ahead and just thread this on in there. All right, guys, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, we got our mounts on. So that was pretty easy. Um, let's move on to the point now. We're actually gonna set the bars in here and we'll line them up and then we'll tighten them. All right? Okay. Let's go ahead and set that right there. Get a little finger tightening here. I'm not gonna run these like that. Um, be like a crotch rocket mini bike, and I don't necessarily want that. Okay, so those are just in place. Um, as you spin your bars up, if you do go with the Mika Metals or really anything, Renthal or Pro Taper, they do have these numbers. You try to get them in the middle. 
not really there's an indicator i don't think there's an indicator but if you want you can adjust your bars forward back whatever but i went with the ktm bend not just because the bike is orange but um they have no no rake or anything like that they're pretty straight so yeah let's tighten this up and then we'll start putting the controls back on bam look at that oh my goodness man that looks good look how wide they are oh i'm gonna be super comfy on that even better than the pro tapers i had on there before all right, let's finish up putting the controls on and uh, yeah, we'll see what she looks like. Look at like beginner video editing, look at. <laughs> None of that worked. None of it. And I did it out of order. You guys are definitely gonna know. <laughs> Not magical. Dang guys. Yeah, yeah. Dang, that looks way, way better. That's such a sweet look on a mini bike, guys. Inch and an eighth bars, man, those are racing bars. Now you could go around your backyard racing. Man. All right, let's get some, uh, some sweet shots of it now. Hey, join me next time where we're gonna take this throttle housing off and we're gonna replace it with an aftermarket one. Because the thing is, these things, they're fused on, so you can't really just pull that off and replace it with another grip. So you notice our grip over here, it's really nice, brand new, very grippy, Mika Metals. Not sponsored by, not sponsored by Mika Metals, but they're very grippy. Who would, uh, who would sponsor a guy with 200 subs? But we wanna put a Mika throttle grip on here so we're gonna do that next time any other modifications you want to see me do let me know and we'll, we'll put it together maybe some kayaba forks you know maybe a back shock or something like that maybe some some really sweet really sweet uh uh foot pegs maybe like a cbr 900 motor all right we're getting carried away thanks for watching uh that's it no more seven eight bars we're going with the big bars because we got the nice mounts on there. Um, I'm gonna try to link as many pieces and parts in the description. Send me a message if you need some. Like and subscribe. I will check you guys later.